Hi, once again, this is Kerry Garrison with Multicopter Warehouse and DJI Colorado. And today we're going to go over some of the new stuff in the Go app, as well as how to look at your flight logs. So a lot of questions on this. A lot of people don't even know that some of these things exist. I'm going to start off in the upper right hand corner where the three lines are. So this is the menu that we're going to be looking at today. The first thing is the flight record or flight logs. If we go there, we can see all the different flights that we've had. We can scroll through all the different flights. Over on the left, we see the footprints, which is what countries we've flown in, the top distance that we've flown, the max takeoff altitude. So that's the highest point above sea level that you've armed your motors. So you can see I've actually been up at 14,428 feet when I did a takeoff. So it's not the, the highest you've ever been, it's the highest you've taken off from. And the top speed, 72.1 miles an hour. I have a total flight time of coming up on 146 hours with 3.7 million feet and 1,421 flights. Now, if I swipe from right to left over the left panel, then I can go to individual aircraft and see which aircraft I have flown and just the logs for that aircraft. If I go back to the beginning and I have me, this is everything all combined. Then I can go to one of these maps and actually see the whole path that I've flown. All your telemetry data is at the top throughout the entire flight, and we can play it back. And we can play it back in real time and see the messages that are popping up on the screen. I can also tap on the remote control icon and I can see what my sticks were doing at the time. So this is very handy to try and troubleshoot different flights that you've had or you don't know what's going on, you don't know where you were, you want to make sure that you were in a safe area, you can always go back and replay this. Now you can increase the speed up to eight times on the flight or you can just grab the circle and zip through it all real fast and come back. Now I can see that I'm landing at 47%, the landing gear came down, and I can see the stick controls of how I brought it down. So pretty nifty for going back and reviewing your flights. Okay, we're going to go back to the next item on there, the Academy. This is where you can find a flight simulator for some of the aircraft, tutorials, flight tutorials, and user manuals. The flight simulator is going to require that you are connected to your aircraft and that it is turned on because it gets all the settings from the aircraft and you can play around with settings and change them and you'll actually feel exactly how those changes are going to affect your flight. Going to the next item here, we have the store, which, you know, you're never going to go there. You're going to go to multicopterwarehouse.com or come into the DJI Colorado store, obviously. The no-fly zone, this is where you can add no-fly zone information. If you need to fly near an airport, you can do it all from within the app. It's just an embedded web browser, so you can get that set up. Going to the next item here is the new Find My Drone. So this will give you a map where the last location was that your aircraft was detected. Now, in my case, it's in my house. So it's upstairs, 16 hours ago, I turned it on. But if I was out in the field somewhere, it would show all that. I can turn on the satellite images or hybrid image. Up in the upper left-hand corner, I can go and see the live telemetry. So if I have a connection to the copter, I can see the GPS, the status, the battery status, or I'm gonna close that, or I can click on the copter itself. I see the actual latitude and longitude of it, and I can turn on the ESCs to start beeping and the LEDs to start blinking. So help you find it, especially if it's dark or it's in a bush somewhere. Pretty handy features here for dealing with that. Let's see, go to the other map. 
and so I can use uh, uh, the Apple Maps to do the same thing. Go back to the Go app. And those are the new features. You can also do a shortcut to the flight logs in the bottom left hand corner right above there where it says disconnected. That's just a one tap to get into your flight logs. So. Hope you uh, get some use out of this. Check out your flight logs and the Academy. Try around with the simulator if you're new to flying and you want to get some practice in. The no fly zones if you need to fly in some restricted areas and the new find my drone feature. So take care. This has been Kerry with Multicopter Warehouse and the DJI Colorado store. I'll catch you next time. Bye bye.